Fear of going to the veterinarian's office is a common anxiety in dogs, but it doesn't have to be. Our next guest, Rachel Lees, is joining us. She is a licensed veterinary technician who specializes in behavior at the UT College of Veterinary Medicine. She's also a fear-free certified professional and is passionate about helping dogs overcoming uh, different fears, especially going to the vet. Thank you so much for coming on. Oh, of course, I'm so excited to be this. here. Yes. Well, first of all, how common is it for pets to be afraid of the vet? I feel like it's very common, but they don't need to be. Okay. I mean, I think that's always one thing to remember is that they truly don't need to be nervous about going to the vet. Most of them are though. And what are the, the most common signs that will let you know, okay, that they, they, they're anxious, they're not so comfortable right. with this Right, trip. most of the signs that you're going to see are gonna be signs that are very subtle. I mean, you're gonna, you may see more of the obvious ones like growling, um, lifting their lips and things of that nature, but you also will see things such as, um, like I said, licking their lips, panting, um, brows furrowing, they'll do a lot of avoidance behavior where they just decide not to go over there. You might see them freeze, see the whites of their eyes. I mean, dog body language could be a whole topic in of itself. So as a pet owner, how do you respond? What do you do? You got to go to the vet. Right. Absolutely. And that's where when I talk to clients and I educate clients on these types of things, I'd say bring food. Mm -hmm. If your pet is going in for a visit and they do not need to have lab work drawn or they're not going to be sedated for any reason, Food is our best friend. Mm -hmm. And I always say the, the way to a dog's heart is through their stomachs. So <laughs> bring some of their most favorite foods, bring something amazing. So while they are getting examined, you can be there ahead of, in front of them, giving them treats and amazing things like cheese whiz on a stick, mm -hmm. or I, I usually will use a pretzel rod. It's nice and easy. Um, and if they bite it off, it's not a big deal. <laughs> what are things not to do as a pet owner? A lot of the times pet owners will, and I totally understand, they get very defensive. Mm -hmm. I think that they're concerned about, you know, the veterinary team judging them and things of that nature. Where again, you don't need to. Actually just ignoring your pet and okay. just continuing to to reinforce and trying to give them food is the best thing you can do. Yelling and scolding them is just going to make the behavior worse and make them more stressed. Okay, well, Rachel, thank you. We sure. appreciate you coming on. We could Absolutely. talk about this all day long. Oh, I know. We're dealing with vets today. <laughs> I've got more questions for her later, though. <laughs> all right, thanks so thank much. You. Thanks for spending some time.